If you were listening to TalkSport Breakfast yesterday, you would have he- heard a brilliant interview, actually. Leeds United manager Jesse Marsh, he was on the show. Uh, now, the American has made quite a good impact. In fact, in the last four games, he's had three wins and one draw. Um, so it looks like he's turning things around there. They were on a terrible run of form, weren't they? Um, but he did say this. Marsh told TalkSport that injuries in the squad this season could have come from the previous regime. The injury issue had a lot to me to do with the training methodologies. These players were overtrained, right? And it led to them being uh, physically, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, um, you know, in, in a difficult place to recover from week to week, from game to game. So I have a very specific methodology with the way I work. And, I, and I've had a reputation for, for running, having high running uh, data in, in the way that we play, but also being uh, he- having healthy, fit, strong players who can who can meet the standards of the game that we want. So we've tried to put that into place to help the players. I think that has helped a lot. You know, the 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 one with Patrick, I, I felt terrible about because the responsibility of a coach to take care of his players and to make sure that you're not injuring them and and putting them in harm's way. So in the end, when it didn't go the way we wanted with Patrick, I always feel like it's my responsibility to get that right. But you know, for the most part, I think. We're getting healthy and strong with almost the entire group. Uh, Junior Furpo will probably be in in training today. We're we're closer uh, and closer with Patrick. Um, you know, so uh, the the other part of that is just now the playing style. Like when you when you Marcelo had such a strong man v man playing style, and trying to rip the players away from three and a half years of being instructed exactly to do that into now transitioning into what what we're trying to do going forward has been massively challenging for the players to adapt to. Oof, there we go. Mm-hmm. Really, really honest and really open uh, with TalkSport Breakfast yesterday. Um, I heard Simon Jordan, I think it was, on, on Jim White's show saying uh, he wouldn't have recommended being that open because he thought it was disrespectful to Marcelo Bielsa. And he said, Jesse March isn't exactly putting up trees so far. Mm-hmm. I kind of disagree, actually, because I think the last <clears throat> four games, to, to be unbeaten, yeah, albeit two of those teams are, are in the relegation zone, one of them, Southampton, that... No, but the other games they had to win, would you? Yes, good you point. You could argue the other yeah. games they had to win. Good point. Um, Ali, what did you make of it? I'm, I'm all for it. I don't have a problem with it at all. Um... Listen, all he's, he's, he's just stating the obvious that all coaches and managers, the vast majority of them, have got, have got their own coaching methods and they, and they like to do what they like to do. And and you don't get any two the same, really. And obviously, his coaching methods are are different to Michelle Bielsa's. And that's that's fine. He's, he, he, as I say, he's not doing anything out of the ordinary. He's just stating the obvious. And I get, I get what he's saying because... To, to, to train and play with that level of intensity season after season, day after day, it has to have an effect on your body. So I get that, and some players will react to it differently. So he's, I'm guessing, he's um, leading us down the line that he thinks a couple of, the, certainly some of the injuries have been due to the intensity of the way they train and play. So I've I don't heard, have a problem yeah. telling us that. I have heard that from um, the Leeds United um, camp as well, that they don't mind training hard, players don't mind training hard, but you need the right recovery. Mm-hmm. Because I heard that Bielsa's training is similar to a game, you know, the intensity. And you can't do that three, four days a week and expect to have that intensity in a the game. They're human beings, you're going to get injuries, muscle injuries, calves, hamstrings, do you know what I mean? Fire injuries, Ali. You know what it's yep. like, Ali. Normally, yep. Laura, on a, on a week without a midweek game, the Monday would be the warm down from the Saturday still. Tuesday would be a hard session where you're covering the most um, ground, mm-hmm. high intensity. Wednesday would be sort of cool down. Thursday, you start doing bits. Not as not as hard. Friday, mm-hmm. little bit. And then you get the game on Saturday and pull it in on a Saturday. <clears throat> I feel the Leeds players definitely were overworked under Bielsa, but... That was his style, wasn't it, Ali? Mm-hmm. So, um, Jesse Marsh, for me, um, very open in what he says. But Simon can't talk. He's, he, he hammers everyone. 
<laughs> he can't say a word <laughs> good point good point um, Jesse March on TalkSport Breakfast yesterday if you want to hear more of that interview you can go to the TalkSport website um, I thought it was really brilliant yeah. um, we yeah. talked a lot about Americanisms as well actually and about mm-hmm. being sort of un- unfairly treated um, I think that's the best way to do it like, let the football do the talking and then, and then crack on and he's obviously gathered the respect of the players Ali no I've got to say a really impressive interview I was looking forward to it and it didn't disappoint uh, he was very forthright and <clears throat> it was interesting to hear you know what he felt some of the differences were you know in the Bundesliga in Germany with obviously Leipzig and, and over here with Leeds United so no I think he's obviously a man that knows what he wants he knows what his own coaching methods are he spoke about it in great detail and it was a good listen I really enjoyed it yeah really good listen Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods Monday to Wednesday morning 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.